In this video, we're going to work through and find the exact value for the sine of 3 degrees, and we're going to do so by using this difference formula for sine. And it looks like uh, we're going to need four different terms that we're going to do some multiplication and subtraction with. Well, I have these four expressions that we're going to use, and all four of these we've already worked out in other videos where we have the exact value for the sine of 15, 18, 72, and 75. And I'm going to go ahead and link to those videos in the video description, so if you'd like to look at these in those videos, you can as well. I'm not going to rework all these exact values in this video, though. It's uh, too time-consuming, so we've done that in other videos. Okay, so in order to find the sine of 3 degrees, I'm going to use the sine of 18 minus 15 degrees. Okay, and 18 minus 15, well, that is 3. So using our difference formula for sine, we're going to say that's going to be the sine of 18 degrees times the cosine of 15 degrees minus the sine of 15 degrees times the cosine of 18 degrees. Okay, well a couple of things about these cosine values because the videos that we started with here were just finding the exact values of sine. So I'm going to take this cosine and this cosine and I'm going to turn it into sine values. Okay, so I have the sine of 18 times the sine of. So remember, uh, complementary angles have the relationship where the cosine of one angle is the same as the sine of its complement. So this 15 degrees, that's cosine, is going to turn into the sine of 75. And then minus sine of 15 degrees times the uh, let's see, sine of, that's why we don't use pin, uh, so the cosine of 18, its uh, complement is 72, so it'll be the sine of 72 degrees, okay? So you'll see these four values we have written down right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and substitute all of these values in and see what we have. So the sine of 18 degrees is going to be 1 fourth times the square root of 5 minus 1, and that's from here. And we're going to multiply that by the sine of 75. And that's going to be the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4 minus the sine of 15, which is the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And we'll multiply that by the sine of 72, which is the square root of 2 over 4 times this square root expression 5 plus radical 5. So here we go. We have the exact value for the sine of 3 degrees. And let's go ahead and kind of clean this up a little bit. I notice immediately I have, uh, let's see, a 4 times 4 is 16 in the denominator. And 4 times 4 is 16 in the denominator. So I could factor that 16 out just right at the beginning just to make things a little easier. We might, it might not stay this way at the end, but we'll start this way. And so here I have this square root of 5 minus 1 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put those in parentheses and leave it that way instead of multiplying it all out. Minus, okay? So this square root of 2, I can kind of back distribute that through. So it'll end up being the square root of 12 minus 2 and then times that, well, square root expression there, okay? So what kind of cleanup can we do? Well, I could factor a 2 out because this square root of 12 actually becomes 2 radical 3. So I could factor a 2 out, and when I distribute this 1 16th back through, you have a little cancellation. So let's go ahead and see what this will look like. So 1 16th times the square root of 5 minus 1 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 minus, and the 2 over the 16 becomes 1 8th, with the square root of 3 minus 1, when I factor that 2 out, and then times this square root expression, 5 plus uh, radical 5. So we're saying that this right here is the same as the sine of 3 degrees. Okay, well this isn't, uh, you know, brilliant looking or really fabulous like the sine of 30, which is 1 half. 
But this is about as simple as we can get this, and this is the exact value for the sine of 3 degrees. And let's just go ahead and grab a calculator and see if that's indeed what we're going to get. Okay, so I have my calculator here, and I think we're ready to go. So we're going to do the inverse of sine, and we're going to put this ratio in there. So first of all, it's going to be 1 16th, and then times the square root of 5 minus 1, and we'll multiply that by the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. And to that, we're going to subtract, and then we have 1 8th out front there with the square root of 3 minus 1. And we're going to multiply that by the square root of 5 plus radical 5. Close off all those parentheses, and we get ah, 3 degrees. So we do see that that ratio works. So here we see that we have the exact value for the sine of 3 degrees.